Hi everyone. Today I have a bit of a different video for you. I know a lot of the videos on my channel have been primarily uh, video games that I've been playing, but another sec segment that I want to do is on books. As you can tell behind me, I am an avid reader. These behind me are some of my favorite books that I absolutely enjoyed and I've read them multiple times. Uh, I will be doing videos about those in the future, but today I want to start with this book that I just got. It's a do-it-yourself do it uh, book called Safe and Sound, a renter's friendly guide to home repair by Mercury Stardust. For those of you that don't know who she is, this is her picture on the back. She is known as the Trans Handy Man. Uh, she has a huge following on YouTube and TikTok where she creates videos that are very informative and very useful on how to do repairs yourself. Um, and about a couple weeks ago, she did a TikTok about this book, so I immediately rushed over and bought it uh, about different do-it-yourself techniques and tricks. And I've read through it, and it actually ended up being so much better than I thought it was going to be, so well thought out that I absolutely wanted to do a video on it. So the first thing, you'll notice it is a hardcover book, which I think is great because paperback editions don't hold up very well. And since this is a do-it-yourself book, you're going to be carrying this and lugging it around and throwing it on the floor. It definitely helps that it's paper or hardcover. It's going to last a lot longer. Next thing I've noticed is the quality of the pages. It's not the type of paper that's just going to immediately soak up water and get damaged. Uh, so since this is a do-it-yourself, you know, having it that textbook, plasticky type feel means if it gets wet, you know, it won't get easily damaged. So right in the beginning, we do have a picture of her in case you don't know what she looks like. This is her, very beautiful. And then right at the very beginning, she has a note to her readers. So I'm gonna read it for you. I think it really showcases who she is, what she's trying to be, what she's trying to do with this book. And I absolutely love it. So it says, dear reader, hey there, my name is Mercury Stardust also known as the trans handy man. As my name would suggest, I am a very proud trans woman and also a virtual home maintenance technician and certified repair expert. I've been in this field for over 16 years, working with renters, landlords, homeowners, and businesses in tropical Madison, Wisconsin. Many of those years I was perceived as a man, all while hiding who I was. When I transitioned from being one of the guys to being a woman, I was treated entirely differently by my peers and employers. The contrast hit me like a bolt of lightning, but ultimately it became my motivational drive and gave me the best tool I have in my tool bag, compassion. I realized that there's a special kind of corniness that comes with that last notion, but as the kids would say, that's very on brand for me. There is a fundamental thread that runs through everything I do. There is no such thing as common sense. We all come from different backgrounds with different lived experiences, which can lead to amazing knowledge in some aspects of one's life, though maybe not others. But there is a universal truth. We all panic when the toilet overflows. We reach for anything nearby to soak up the dirty water. We scream for help from whoever is within earshot. Those moments are filled with desperation and often anger that we should have known better. I'm not here to berate you for not knowing how to turn off the water to your toilet. I'm here to teach you how to do it. You should never be ashamed for not knowing something you were never taught. If we all have these same overwhelming feelings about around home emergencies, then why does do-it-yourself content only focus on homeowners and not renters? Renters, a whopping 36% of Americans, should have the same feeling of empowerment. They have toilets that overflow, sinks that clog, doors that jam, mold growing in the bathroom, and so many other things that need fixing. They are told to reach out to the landlords when they need something repaired and are too often ignored or find themselves waiting endlessly when the work is delayed. While existing home repair books may explain some of the skills homeowners need and the desperate situations, they rarely take into account how a tenant's approach can differ from that of a homeowner. For instance, a renter may not know or be able to determine the material of their pipes when dealing with the plumbing issue, or they may not have the authority to simply replace outdated appliances or parts. There are very few, if any, how-to books aimed at renters' experiences and needs, that, and needs. That's where this book comes in. 
In addition to the fundamentals of home repair, this book will provide important information regarding choosing an apartment that works best for one's individual needs and the pitfalls to avoid when it comes to placing work orders, keeping deposits, or absent landlords. You will also be given essential and tailored advice on how to grow a collection of tools, one focused on building a foundation of core tools that everyone should have in their home. In the largest section of the book, I'll teach you step-by-step -step home repairs covering the most common issues I've seen in my career. We'll finish, we'll finish with important information on safety and security, moving out of your home, and information regarding tenants' rights and the resources you can reach out to if those laws are being violated. Throughout the text, you will find the gentle and affirming words of encouragement that I'm known for. If you don't own, it doesn't mean your space is less of a home or you are worthy of the time that it takes to learn a new skill. This book is highly visual with detailed instructions, QR codes with links to videos and personal videos recorded by me to give you the pep talk you need to keep going with your projects. These images and videos are used throughout to help you feel confident when beginning each do-it-yourself project. Thank you for taking the time to read this, regardless of it, regardless of it if you purchase this book, been giving it a gift or giving it as a gift or just browsing through it at the bookstore. I hope you leave this introduction with a little more perspective and a little more compassion in your own bag of tricks. I leave you with the same goodbye I give at the end of every video. Have a good day, take care, and bye-bye. Mercury Stardust, the trans handyman. I love that little letter to the reader. It just goes to show you, first of all, she has the experience. She has been there She's done it. You know, she's 16 years of being a maintenance person. You know, she knows what she's talking about. You know, and then she also goes to show, you know, she, she this book is tailored more towards renters, but it can be home homeowners, you know, and she just wants you to give you some words of encouragement. That's something I love about this book all the way through it. She's very encouraging. Now, a lot of do-it-yourself books, they just jump right in, you know, this book, she goes to the beginning before you've even gotten the apartment. And I think that's a really good start. You know, when I first began looking for apartments and leasing, I found myself in situations where I just had to learn by mistake. You know, and now I know all this stuff. I know all the tips and tricks. So I think it's awesome that she's put it in there for be first time renters, you know, or people who are still new to the whole idea. You know, and there may be something in there where you're, hey, I never thought of that, you know. So she goes into the very first section on uh, finding an apartment. You know, she talks about the different needs you'll have to keep in mind when looking. Uh, for instance, she talks about the cost of rent. You know, you should only spend 30% of your income on rent. But yet she says that's not a, hard, a set in stone number that you should follow. You know, depending on where you live, you could spend more or less on your rent. For instance, if you live in the city, rent's going to be a lot higher but yet you also have public transportation. So you don't necessarily need a car, have any car insurance, car maintenance bills, that extra money that you would be spending on a car can go towards rent. So you could spend a little bit more of your income. If you live in a rural area with no public transportation, you know, you may have to spend less because you'll need a car in order to get around with due to the lack of public transportation. So she goes into great detail on different things you need to think about when you're looking for a place to live. And I absolutely love that. She even has a section about different red flags, you know, what to look for when you're going to looking for an apartment, it's different things in the lease that, you know, hey, maybe you should not be renting there. You know, I absolutely love all these little tips and tricks, and I wish I'd known that when I first began my journey of looking, you know, around for places. She, she has a next section about moving out, moving in. She also has a section about moving out later on in the book. You know, different things to look for when you're moving in about documenting, you know, damage and, you know, that way you can keep your security deposit and don't get have it taken from you. You know, I absolutely love that. She even talks about how to set up your home and different things to look for. You know, she's gone way to the beginning before you even need to do any type of repairs. And I absolutely love that. You know, and she also has these sections about emotional reset, you know, that give you little words of encouragement. The next section, she has re requesting a repair, which I absolutely love. You know, I didn't know exactly how to put in a request in apartments when I first started renting. And I had a lot of places that were, oh, just tell me verbal, ver give me a verbal, you know, uh, request, give, give us a phone call and we'll get it fixed. And then it doesn't happen. 
you know so she goes in there in this section about you know get you know have it filled out on a piece of paper get some kind of documentation that's been submitted you know she even goes into a section about what's considered emergency repairs you know a lot of people don't seem to understand what's an emergency what's not i think it's very very informative then she has a section about troubleshooting where you should begin how you should begin planning a repair and then she has a section about building a toolkit you know I have a huge bag full of tools that I've accumulated over the years of different things I need. So I think it's great that she's already gone into some detail about this. You know, for instance, having a multi-bit screwdriver set and having a utility knife, you know, all the different things. And another thing that I absolutely love about this book, she has pictures, pictures of the different tools you'll need along with the name. I can't tell you how many times I've come across some instructions on some repair and it tells you to use a particular type of tool, I don't know what it looks like. For instance, this right here is a six inch joint knife. I have one of these, I never knew that's what it was called. So the fact that you have pictures here, it's awesome. Like there was one on page 73 that I was reading. This tool right here, I've never seen that tool in my life. You know, and it's called a basin wrench. If you had just told me grab a basin wrench, I wouldn't know what you're talking about. But the fact she has a picture there, I absolutely love that. So, yeah, I love the pictures. I love that she has the name of the tools right there next, next to the picture so you know what it is. Another thing that I absolutely love uh, is when you get into the repair section of it, she has different sections about faucets, showers, toilets. She has an electrical section about repairing a fan, replacing an outlet. Uh, she even has a section about drywall, you know, she has all she, I think in total it said 50 simple maintenance projects. So, and you know, it has a lot of them. But thing that I love the most is here at the beginning of each one, it actually shows what tools you will need. You know, and it has it not only listed in text, but also the picture that I absolutely love. And she goes in the great detail uh, about all the repairs, she even has all kinds of pictures. Uh, I was trying to find one picture. Oh, she has so many of them. Again, here, right here, she has all the tools. All the tools. That is so awesome. Laid out in detailed steps. She even has little pictures showing you what to do. Uh, in case you don't quite know or there's not enough pictures, another thing that I love is she has this little QR code. This actually takes you to mercurystardust.com, which is her website. And it actually has links to her Facebook page, YouTube, uh, and TikTok. So it's a great resource. You can go on there, search for the video in particular that you're looking for. Uh, it's, it's fantastic. She's done a very good job with this book, detailing the different areas, common issues. Uh, I absolutely love it. And then, of course, her website and YouTube, TikTok, all very well laid out great videos you know I like having a little bit of text and video along with it it helps really solidify what needs to be done and she's done a great great job with this um, not only does she have the different sections on how to make different repairs she has a section on there about moving out uh, which is great you know potentially documenting you know so you can get your security deposit back how to properly clean uh, she has an issue about safety, security and safety and what different things to look for uh, when getting an apartment. Like she talked about one time in, in the book about uh, people who live on second, third, fourth floor may not may think that they're safe, but they're really not, you know. And she has a personal story about, you know, someone climbing up the fire escapes, you know, so she has different things you'll want to be sure to look out for, as well as, you know, having, you know, emergency bags set up. You know, she even has a list of different things you want to have in your little emergency kit. I mean, it's absolutely amazing, the detail and all the thought she put into this book. She even has a section on tenant laws and resources, so you can know where you stand as a tenant. Uh, and different laws are going to fluctuate a little bit per states, and she says that in here. But she goes into great detail, gives you a bunch of resources you can look after, like the Fair Credit Reporting Act. and. Disabilities Act and the Fair Housing Act. So it gives you a little bit of knowledge and resources in case you need some legal legal help. So in general, I absolutely loved 
This book so well thought out, so detailed. I mean, she really did a good job on getting this, creating this book. So I would highly suggest, you know, adding this to your books. You know, if, whether you're a renter or homeowner, I don't think it matters. This will really help you, especially if you're a do-it-yourself type of person like me. So I hope to bring you more books like this in the future. Uh, maybe some more fiction rather than do-it-yourself books. But I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time. Oh, by the way, since I forgot, in the description, I am going to leave a link to this book so that you can purchase it. I will also leave a link to her website and her YouTube uh, page in case you wish to check that out. So thanks again.